Hello and welcome to a quick video about double bass gear. Uh, I'd like to talk about magnetic pickups, string bumping, and how I plug my magnetic pickup into a Shadow Rockabilly Pro system. To start off, I'd like to talk about the gear that is already on the bass. I'm using a Prevo magnetic pickup because I really like the sound of magnetic pickups on double bass. I've got that plugged into a Shadow Rockabilly Pro system. This is quite new. I used to play just the Crevo pickup and you can use it that way. The Shadow Rockabilly Pro system I used to mix the sound of the notes coming out of the magnetic pickup with the sound of a slap pickup at the back of the fingerboard. So the Crevo pickup replaces the need for a wing pickup which would otherwise be placed here to pick up the notes. Before I change the strings, I would like to do a small sound test of what the bass sounded like as it is now, so that you can hear the differences between this and the bumped strings. There are some negatives to bumping your strings. You might get buzz and you might lose tone. So I'd like for you to compare to see what works for you. It's a compromise between playability and sound. So a few things have happened since I filmed the last clip. I bumped my strings and they feel great. But there's a huge problem. The sound is very uneven. And that is because I didn't know the difference between steel rope core strings and steel core strings. Solid steel core strings. And basically steel rope core strings aren't as magnetic as solid steel core strings and what I, what I mean by that is this Sounds kind of terrible. So I bought three more solid steel core strings. That will let me bump my strings and I will get way more volume. Because apparently I was using the wrong strings for a magnetic pickup. I'm happy that I learned that, but this did cost way more than I thought it would. It's about time I finish this video off, and I'd just like to go through all the modifications that I've done to the bass and give you another sound demo. Starting off, I'm using Pomastic Precision Strings. I'm assuming that's precision. Some odd spelling. And uh, I'm using a full set. Uh, I'm high C string to a G string to a D string, to an A string, but all tuned like a regular EADG bass. So low tension on fully steel core strings. What's important about that is that you can't just bump the G string like I thought I could, uh, since the other strings that I had were steel rope core. 
en steel rope core isn't as magnetic as the solid steel core. Uh, as a pickup, I'm using a magnetic Crevo pickup and uh, I'm using that pickup and the slap pickup, showing that isn't a good idea, uh, into the Shadow Rockabilly Pro preamp. That's about it. I've played this setup on a quite a few shows in between the videos and I'm quite happy with it. Time for a sign demo. Better tune, which also is a great feature with the shadow frame. strut there. Most important thing about me using magnetic pickup is that I get that 80s stray cat sound out of my bass, which is exactly what I need. low tension strings that I get from the bumping, I can play all my psychobilly stuff. That's about it. I'm very happy with this setup. I can recommend pretty much every single piece of this. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that I had to solder my own adapter cable for the output of the Crevo magnetic pickup going into the two and a half millimeter jack of the Rockabilly Pro preamp. Those cables that they do sell are quite hard to find, so I just made my own. It didn't take too long and it was quite easy to figure out. So, Thank you everybody for watching and subscribe if you'd like to see me turn this bass into a Frankenstein's monster psychobilly bass. <laughs>